Hello everyone, welcome to episode 14. Scooter, are you ready to start today's episode? <laughs> All right, so I've done a little bit of work off camera. Thank you so much for all of your amazing suggestions as usual on how I can actually get my villager trader area set up. As you can see, we have a path now. So this is the main thing that I've done between episodes. It's now possible for me to just easily find my way right along this path over to the temple. My idea is eventually everything in this world can be connected together with paths. This will probably go over a bridge at some point and head into the mega taga over that way. Also, there's a mushroom in the path. Uh, I gotta get some silk touch so that I can collect the mushroom rather than just destroying it. But right, we've got fairly decorated paths all the way up to my temple, which I love. And the inside, okay, so the back's not completely done but it's a lot more done than it was. <laughs> it's looking so, so wonderful. I still have lots of detailing to do, lots of destroying. You can see I've added a couple of cracked stone bricks. For right now, I'm actually interested in heading back over to my jungle area over here. Come on, Scooter, you can come too. So this is the start of our jungle area, the treehouse area, and I have a lot of plans, but first I need to clear out more space. I know, I already cleared out so much, but I need to do more. So I wanna kinda get rid of a lot of these big trees that are in the area, and I'm actually going to just use saplings to grow them in specific places where I actually want them, instead of just trying to work with what we got. I think that'll be a better plan, so I'm gonna kinda come in and maybe move this way a little bit, kinda removing a little bit of this, and then some of these bigger trees in the area, probably these two, just so I can get a better lay of the land and figure out what I want. So uh, let's start with that. Okay, I did it. Bam. So our hill is uh, its just a plain hill now. Much better, much easier to work with. I like it. Plus, we get a great view of the temple from here, so we definitely need to get more tree houses up. Before that though, I need to kind of get something out of the way that I've been dreading. Um, we do we do still need villagers. It was a failed mission last episode, and I, I gotta fix it. Scooter, you can stay and watch the treehouse. Okay, Enderman in my temple. Right, so this area is... Oh, good, nope, no, no, you know what? Not safe for, oh God, what have I done? Okay, come, come on. No, 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 not on my staircase, not on my staircase, please. Why do I keep getting myself into these scenarios? Please, ah. First step, let's safe and villager proof this space because this is not okay. Enderman, you can stay as long as we, oh, you have a flower as well. Yeah, we could be friends. I'm cool with you. Oh my God, I didn't mean to look at you, dude. Why do, why'd you teleport like that? I didn't mean it. Jeez, now you're jumping off trees. You lunatic, where'd you go? Come here, come up those stairs. Yeah, I'm mad too. Come, come, come. In memory of our Enderman friend, flower. Very pleased with this path. I think I'm gonna be very happy with this path for like a long time now, so get used to me bragging about how happy I am with my path. I know it's just dirt. It's nice dirt, okay? I like it. I like the dirt. It's, I think it looks good. <laughs> we'll mix it up with some like concrete and soul sand and stuff later, but yeah, this is good. Good little basic path. I like it. So this week I need to prepare for the dragon fight. Very important and one key thing that I always like to prepare for a dragon fight is the potion of slow falling. In order to get a potion of slow falling, you gotta kill phantoms. We've not seen phantoms because I like my cozy comfy village creeper list so I sleep through every single night. However, now that I'm looking for a zombie villager, I may as well stay awake a couple nights, actually get phantoms to spawn at the same time. It's like a win-win, right? I will also make my way over to the village and start making a track from the village to here with these. This is not gonna be even close to enough, but I can dream, okay? And, and start actually just transporting villagers. There is a lot of water. Once I get to here, I think I can transport by boat instead. I think it can access the ocean this way. So I only have to get the villager to here, and the village is just past this dark oak forest. So this shouldn't actually be that bad. So here's the water that I need to get it to, and there's the village. That's actually, that's not that bad at all. That's so reasonable. I could do this. All right, hey dude, this should be, this should be easy, right? Piece of cake. We just take the tracks, and we build them over this way. I'm extremely pleased with how relaxing this process actually is compared to like 
building a giant jungle temple. This is quite nice. This is a good change up. I've never actually done this in my whole time of playing Minecraft. I've, I've never done anything really with villagers, not in depth. So I'm excited to explore this kind of new side of the game. It's gonna be fun. Right, okay. I've made it, I've done it. Um, I think we'll stop it right here. Bam. So this is where I'll be able to get them off and get them into a boat. And I don't know how this process is gonna work, but I mean, it, it seems good, right? Okay, this is not bad. I like it, dude. This makes me want a roller coaster in my world. Wait. This is so fun. Oh, that's an error. Okay, well, that's why we test things. Like, surely that's not gonna work, right? <laughs> like, I feel like, I feel like I've, that's, I'm gonna do that again. Okay, see, this is the part that I'm a little bit more worried about. You're the nearest. You're just a farmer, but I mean, I do need a farmer, so. Do you feel like being a test subject, sir? So it'd be great if you could just hop on in that minecart. It just, Go on, give it a go. No, okay. Look at, look at, there's a place to plant right there. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, stop that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Oh, dear. <laughs> go, oh, yes. This is the energy that I needed today. Thank you, thank you so much. Right, we're gonna, I'm gonna push you because I didn't bring enough power drills. He looks so like, grumpy and just staring back at the village. Oh dear. Okay. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Okay. I don't know how to do this next part. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, if I let you out, can you please get in a boat? Pretty, pretty please. Please get in a boat. Get in a boat. Get in a boat. Get in a boat. Get in my boat. My boat. Get in my boat with me. No? Do villagers not get in boats? Is this not a thing? Do you not- Oh, you do! You do. Okay, I was getting worried. I thought my plan wasn't gonna work. No, this is such a good plan. I'm sorry, I'm taking you from your home. I'm bringing you to a better home. Oh, what's the game plan? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think... This is working. This is a good plan. Whatever I- This is- Okay. It's the least organized thought process I've ever had in my life. Okay, so for the nights, we're not doing nights. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're sleeping. We're getting villagers. We're gonna get the nights after by infecting them. It's just, this was way easier than I thought it would be. There's no need for me to be struggling here. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Aw, do you miss your home? I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm making this way harder than it has to be. Let me ditch the shield. So, plan. I'm gonna bring you here maybe i bring you to my docks no, no no i bring you here making it too hard <laughs> um right so that minecart right there and then then we go up you know what maybe we go around the stables there's no reason for me to be upsetting doro and bella with this am i really gonna go around a leaf i feel like i'm not <laughs> Jeez, why'd i have to decorate so much okay um and then we just we just go down the path we just go down the path Okay, I'm, I'm out of rails and I've used two stacks, so I'm gonna bring the villager to here. And if I can get it to here, like that's almost, that's almost there. And then I'll pick it up and I'll do it again. But maybe I'll get two villagers to here first. Wait, yeah, that's a good idea. Hang on, let me build a hut. Ah, uh, dear. Why me? Why me in my village while I'm working with villagers? Was You're evil. Where's my shield? <laughs> Come on, you gonna shoot at me? There we go. Dude. Ha <sighs> ha! Yeah, shoot each other. Oh, guys, I didn't want to have to do this. <laughs> it's so funny just watching them shoot each other. Guys, gosh, that's enough. That's, oh my gosh. Come on, just get it over with. There we go. There we go, bad omen. Goodbye, let me get my water back. All right, I've made a little bit of like a three quarters of the way there house. So there's the temple, here's my little huts. We're gonna track them right in here. They're gonna stop, they're gonna get stuck and then we'll take them the rest of the way. Hopefully this works, I, I it has to, right? We'll, we'll test run it on the first guy. 
Okay, I think he can't get out of there. Um, <laughs> hopefully. Buddy, we're gonna let you out of the boat now, okay? Don't run away from me. Do not run away from me. Don't run away from me. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, dude, I didn't think you'd go underwater. What is that? What? What do I have to do to get you villagers to listen to me? What do I have to do? Cartwheels? Come on. Get get on shore. <gasps> it worked. Okay, it, it was the power drills. It doesn't work on power drills. Why? That's such a weird mechanic that I wouldn't have expected. All right, that's fine, though. If you don't mind, we are just going to park you over to the side, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and you stay there. I'm going to go get you a friend. What if I come in your house and you do a dance and then you get in my cart? Yeah? We could do that? How'd you just magically pick up a job? Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get. No. <gasps> yes. Yes. This is. That's what I needed. Please. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness, dude. You had me worried for a moment. <laughs> Look longingly at your village. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Okay. Off we go. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that was so much easier! Wow, why didn't I do that the first time? Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. Honestly, the most fun way to learn in this game is just by doing it. Like, I could have looked up how to transport these guys way easier, but me spending the last hour and a half actually just doing it and figuring it out has been so genuinely fun. Right, okay, so now I've got two of them. Now I just need to get them to the temple. This should be a piece of cake, right? I have an update for you all. I've done a thing. I've done a thing. So this is Impulse's design for a villager breeder. I have created it here. This is a like 1.16 adjustment that I found in the comment section of this video. I will link it down below if you are wanting to build this. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I like it. It's not very pretty, obviously. I haven't been focusing on the aesthetic, but let's go get the villagers. Let's talk for a second about my plan, right? So I want to get discounted villagers. In order to do that, I need to infect these guys and then heal them. That's still the plan. That's still what I'm going to do. This guy's a farmer. He'll go inside the farm. These two don't have jobs, as you can see, which is perfect. That's exactly what you need for this design. All I've got to do is come in here and pick all of this up and place it down again. I'm excited to do this actually. It's going to make this entire jungle temple so much more functional because now not only is it a villager trading hall, it's a villager breeder. It's got that fancy farm in it and it's also going to have a conversion center in it for zombie to zombie villager conversion. So that's pretty epic, I think. I'm having so much fun laying down these rails and I know that that's a dumb thing, but it, I just, I've never worked with these minecart rails and it's so much fun and I want to build a roller coaster. That's, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> okay, this is the tricky part. Um, I think we do the farmer first. Okay, so just like a train station, all I have to do is hook this one guy up and it should be good. I'm just gonna give you a little push, buddy. There you go. Goodbye. And I just let you out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I've hit you like three times now. I'm so sorry. It's a good, I'm not trading with you though. So <laughs> I don't think that'll affect you. Okay, are we good? Yeah, that's it. Go to work, going to work. Okay, brilliant. Nailed that. Now, the best part about this for me is that I've never watched anybody do this either. And I like that. Like I, I know for some of you, you'll be like, ah, oh, Jim, just, just watch somebody do it so you can get it over with. But I, I kind of enjoy having to learn this. This is kind of cool. Going on an adventure with my villagers. I'm excited. Easy. Easy. Okay, that that was fine. That was fine, right? Can I push you into that hole? Are you gonna wanna stay there is my next question. So I'm turning on hitboxes just for a second because I, I don't want to hit this villager. So this is the hitbox. There we go. Okay, don't fall down that hole. Do not. I need you to fall down this hole specifically, not that one. In 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 oh i'm in oh <laughs> i didn't mean it no oh <laughs> I'm making a fool of myself over here okay yes that's you imitated me that was perfect it was that was my intention that's what i wanted okay all right buddy it's your turn you're the last one off you go 
That's it. We are staring into each other's eyes, and I need you to go in that hole. Pretty please. <gasps> that worked! Did it work? Oh, it like almost worked. Oh god, okay, it's not bad though, right? Oh, you're in! You're in! Okay, okay, hang on. All of these have to be, yeah, simple design. Seems to be going all right. I don't know what this dude's doing. Oh, they're looking at each other. Wait, is it nighttime? Nope. <gasps> ha! <laughs> I don't approve of this activity. No, 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 no. I hate villagers. I, I thought we had a good understanding of each other going here. Dude, come on. You have nowhere to go. You have nowhere to go. Do you think if this villager sleeps in one of those beds, it'll pop back inside? Why would you pick up a job? Stop it. Go sleep in a bed. You sure can. Yes, you can. Okay, brilliant. I... <laughs> I am stumped. I don't know if this is gonna work. So, destroyed the barrel, replaced it with a chest. Two jobless villagers, one farmer. This is an operational breeder. I'm gonna leave this project here for a moment and hopefully not forget that they're actively breeding right now and move on to preparing for that dragon fight the first step of which i need is phantom membrane so uh i guess we gotta stay awake a few nights this shouldn't be too hard i have had success there are phantoms now this should be pretty quick i just gotta kill a couple and get their membranes that sounds really messed up when you say it like that hey come 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 Oh yeah, okay, I kind of forgot about that. Okay, it's probably better if I just use the sword. I actually love these phantoms. I wish there was a passive mob in Minecraft that did the same like flight pattern that these phantoms do. Like an eagle or something that flies up above and kind of soars like this. I think that'd be so cool for a passive mob. Minecraft, please. Okay, I got one. I think I only need one, but I'll hunt a few more and see what I can get. It looks like nothing else is spawning, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for tonight and work on some of the other stuff that I need to do. Potion of slow falling. Oh dear. They are only four minutes, even with the redstone. So that's not very long. <laughs> I think in order to feel safe, I may have to make a few more of those, but I'll just I'll just do that off camera. Alright, add them to the bunch. Not bad, huh? We do have ender pearls. I know I didn't do any endermen fighting. We got them from trading with the piglins. So already got that taken care of and we have the blaze farm to get the blaze. So eye of ender is pretty much taken care of. I am going to not take netherite gear. I'm not going to go and get more netherite just in case I do die. You know, <laughs> I don't really, I don't really want to risk it. So I think I'll do the rest of the preparing for the ender fight off camera. We did get a lot done today and we did way more with the villagers than I thought we were going to. So I would like to derail this entire episode and go build because I'm in the mood. <laughs> Quick detour because we have a friend to visit who I haven't introduced you to yet. So I placed a turtle egg on this beach and I tried to hatch it, but it didn't hatch in the one night and I got impatient. But then I stayed awake a whole bunch of nights and put the turtle egg at risk, but our turtle, oh, and our bee, are very, are very good. Did you guys actually make friends? Like, for real? This was my boat. This was, I didn't plan this as part of the episode. <laughs> this is not what I wanted here. But anyways, we have a turtle. Um, it's totally fine. It's worked. I can't believe the bees go in boats. I, like, it genuinely, I can't click on it. It's genuinely in the boat. I'm, I don't know what to do with this information. Well... That's the update, I guess. Uh, I, I do have a turtle. Um, <laughs> what am I gonna do about this? Do I just leave them in the boat? Um, all right, okay. All right, we're back at my jungle base. So the first part of this episode, very not relaxing, me trying to work with villagers. Next part of this episode is going to be very relaxing. Me instead working with trees and I can't wait. Okay, so although I do want to go with more complicated shapes up here eventually, for right now, I'm actually just going to build a tree, I think right here. <laughs> Hi, do you need to be the center of attention right now? All right, this tree, this tree is for you, okay? It's dedicated to a pig. We can do that. I don't mind. God, I'm going to have so many animals in my world. <laughs> See, it's taking over. Okay, you got to move though. You got to move a little bit. Okay, there you go. There we go. Okay, how big is it? Yeah, that's a pretty big tree. So bridge that tree to that tree and we'll do another one. <laughs> I 
I don't know how many of these I want, right? Like right here and then another one. Oh my gosh, those are some big trees. All right, so here we have pathway, right? Bridges going from this platform over to this one. And then in each tree, these are our farming trees. So circles, similar to like over here, but they're farms, just like they were at our village with like composters as borders. I think that'd be good. And we can also do some around the roots. I just need to get something set up over here for some like aesthetic farms. I feel like that's a good first step. So I'm just sort of imagining that we would come up here and actually be able to harvest crops up at the top of the trees with like the best view ever. I mean, think about it. These would get amazing sun. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking a little too hard. I think I'll maybe use this branch as inspiration as well and just build another platforms. Okay, I definitely like that. I'm not sure if it goes with this. <laughs> I've gone for some very bright colors and I'm leaning towards using more like woodsy colors. But I like it. Yeah, it's very cute. Okay, I'm gonna kind of continue with this. So I'll bring you back when I got some progress. I am very excited by how this is coming together. Look at my jungle. Look at my jungle. Okay, it's so much better with the bridges, right? Like that helps massively. So we can come across here. And as we go up this tree, we have three different farms. I may do a few more. Each of these farms are going to be on branches. So we have this one here and I'm gonna do a little step down right here, like maybe knock that out. Oh, <laughs> my ax is way too fast. So maybe do a little step there and then just another little step right there and right here. So it takes away from the farm a little bit, but these farms are more so aesthetic than anything else. We're gonna build some big official farms as well. Hey, wandering trader in the jungle. You fit in there, you know, it looks good. Okay, so I think my plan is for each tree or kind of area of trees to have its own unique function. So this one is obviously farm. This one's kind of tying into that too, but I think I may use the top here to do some other type of farm. Not sure exactly. I would, however, like to kind of peel this terrain back a little bit. So I'm going to work on that now. So I think I'd like to do kind of a tiered little waterfall area here. It's very much man-made and we can definitely do some natural ones eventually, but just have water flowing kind of down in a little bit of a staircase right there. I think that might look really good and also incorporate some blue. In it goes, this is perfect. Doubles as a water slide. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm not exactly sure what direction I'm gonna take this in general. I have it just going to a hole in the ground here at the minute. But there's lots of different options for sure, and I definitely want to have some water features flowing around this entire area. That's good progress. Right, let's get back to work. I am so pleased with how this entire area has come together. I think I'm done working on it for today, but I've had a lot of fun putting in these details. So I've gone with a little pond at the top there that kind of has this man-made aqueducts coming down and connecting to another pond down here. I think we can eventually expand on this idea and have more waterways throughout the jungle, but for right now, this is a great start. Definitely needing to customize these trees a lot more, but they do have the farms settled into them, so that's definitely an idea I can expand upon. And I think Scooter likes it as well. I'm just really happy. I, I like the whole entire vibe that we have going here. I think the sandstone and birch was a good touch because although the composters and the brown logs up there look great, they're not standing out as much as I would like to. There's not as much contrast. So having some platforms with that sandstone, I think is really important. Overall, I'm just really happy with the entire vibe that we have going on here. I think it's great. I think with even more and more and more trees and bridges and all of the things, it's gonna really start to come together and I'm excited for that day. Anyways, everyone, I have to go. There's a lot of construction going on next to me, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna get to record for, but thank you so much for sticking around and watching this episode. Next episode, we take on the dragon, so give me all of your best dragon fighting advice down in the comments, please, and thank you. This has been lovely. I genuinely really enjoyed recording this episode. I did a lot of things that I don't normally do, so it was really fun. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Bye-bye.